Hi guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to talk about the best film camera for beginners. This is a point and shoot auto boy panorama S. I bought this camera back in Japan. Uh, luckily my homie Eddie, shout out Eddie. He's the one that picked it up for me on this Japanese website with all this katagan that I for sure cannot read. I got the camera for 50 bucks. I also found another one with my homie at a five star camera. So if you're ever in Japan, go to five star camera because they have a junk section underground where they have cheap stuff that is broken but honestly it's just like missing a battery cover or it's like tape on the on the film door and it's like 30 bucks i have been looking for a point of shoot camera for like the last three to four years a really good one but the thing i love about this camera is the date and caption feature it has date date features that go right on the bottom corner of the image so you can put on the date i think it's from 1985 to 2000 i personally love the feature whenever i see an instagram i see like a date i think it's cool i think it's aesthetic i think it goes with the vibe if done correctly uh, i know a lot of people that just use it all the time and personally it looks like also another thing i love about it is the caption feature there's five languages english japanese spanish french and Dutch. So finding the journey on getting this camera has been really, really hard. It's been very difficult to find a good point of shoot. Uh, most of the times they break really easily. You just drop it one time or you give it a little nudge and the curtain doesn't close anymore. Another thing I love about this camera is the price point. Uh, there's a lot of point of shoots out there that are cheap, but are they good? No. This has a great lens, a great zoom lens that goes a 38 to 115, 3.6, to 8.5 zoom capability is really great uh, i will say the one con about this camera is that it starts at a 38 it's a pretty tight lens for a point of shoot don't get mistaken the sharpness on this camera is perfect it's so sharp this thing does not miss focus this thing has never missed focus for me i've used this camera ever since november and it has never no even before that i've used this camera for a while it has never missed focus i literally took it in Coda and shot a GT2 991 and it was sharp it is so sharp and I shot it from a tower that's who knows maybe 30 50 feet up in the air I shot a car top down on the point of shoe and it didn't miss and this camera doesn't miss focus it hits every time one thing I love about this camera is it has a when you're focusing at night it pre-lits the subject so it can see what's trying to focus and that's how it doesn't miss so I've shot in the pitch 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 black doesn't miss i read the manual so you don't have to about this camera i'm a weirdo when it comes to stuff like this and i know my friends are gonna make fun of me because they think i'm a little bit special we don't talk about them are you sure about that camera has so many different great options for shooting auto setting perfect can't miss the perfect camera if you're dumb if you're dumb this is a great camera for you it's easy to use you can't mess up there's another option called backlighting i love backlighting um, I'm gonna teach you a technique that a lot of people don't know about this camera. The backlighting option is cool because if it's dark, it's to the perfect advantage. What it does is that it will shoot the, f the image first on flash and then the shutter will kick in. So it's a slow shutter just to kind of build the, the colors and the lighting for the image and then you shake the camera just to kind of have light trails and light spills and just kind of cool effects where you can do on the camera. The macro option on this camera is great. Super, 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 super good. So I've shot photo of my eye just to see how it works. It's a great camera for getting the details that you may miss on other point of shoots because some point of shoots uh, have like a five meter focusing range. So if you shoot anything closer from five meters, everything's out of focus and blurry. But when you use the macro option, anything super minute and small will be in focus. So it could be the great camera to bring on a first date. You could be like, hey, I love your eyes. You have beautiful eyes. Let me take a picture of your eyes. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Another reason why the Auto Boy is a great camera, compact in size. Easy to carry on, easy to bring on your trip. Look how small it is. The size of my iPhone, the size of my big five head. This is a small camera. You can fit this anywhere in your pocket, in your fanny, in your back pocket, in your backpack, in a book, in a pencil case, in a Ziploc bag, whatever fits your need for traveling. It's super compact and easy on the go. 
And even if you just don't want to take a big professional camera, it will still do the job as a professional camera. Where you're just like, oh, I just kind of want to walk around and see where the day takes me. Obviously, not every camera is perfect. A couple of things I don't like about this camera. Uh, the one thing that really bothers me still to this day is the viewfinder to camera picture finish. So when I look through something through the viewfinder and I compose for that image, it is not what you're going to get back on the negative, which is really weird how it's not connected into one and it's not using a mirror. It kind of feels like a rangefinder, but it's not a rangefinder. So everything's a little bit left justified. So when you're shooting with a camera, just kind of keep in mind to just shift it a little bit to the right so you can recompose for the camera's errors. All of my friends that have this camera, we all have the same issue. Um, so it's a common problem with it, but I don't think it's a big main reason for you not to buy this camera. It's still cheap and it's still a great price, but you get what you pay for. It's 50 bucks. What, what do you expect? You're not going to get a like a mini Lux camera. You're not going to get a Contax T2. You're not. It, it is, but it has the quality of a Carl Zeiss lens. The reason why this camera is good for dummies it's the perfect camera for all your needs. Party, travel, professional work, fun, experimental. You can't go wrong. A lot of people, and I know girls, love a film camera to take to parties. Stop buying the disposable garbage. It's such a garbage camera. Don't ever buy a disposable camera ever again. So garbage. Just buy this thing. You're going to save so much more money. I can't believe people are paying 25 bucks every time to shoot 27 photos. You're not even getting 36 photos. And if you want to get into film, I 100% recommend this camera. Um, just for the quality, the price, the build, and the user friendliness of it. I hope this video helped you find a cheap camera to start using to get into film photography. Um, it's a really easy camera to get into film photography to start your photography journey. And until next time, Later!